Hey guys, here we go into a quick film study on Berlanga's knockdown of Nicholson in the second round. Uh, first off, if you guys want to get the full film study, check out my Patreon. It's 10 bucks to sign up, 10 bucks a month. And uh, there's going to be a full film study up here uh, of this fight, as well as uh, 30 to 40 other film studies and going forward. Uh, the library is kind of going to be new, um, but uh, right now there's about 30 or 40 film studies up. It's 10 bucks to sign up, 10 bucks a month. And there's a the full Berlanga film study here. So what we're going to be looking at is how he was able to land this excellent left hook and how he was able to set this up um, against a pretty athletic guy, okay? So first off, this is not the first time that Nicholson tried to use this technique, okay? So instead of getting to the front foot and using his lead hand to jab, he gets to the front foot here and then he brings his shoulder to the line, okay? And transfers his weight to the front foot. This puts him more in a position one, allowing him to actually use his right hand to jab at Berlanga instead of his left hand, okay? A punch that he can shoot without actually committing any of his weight and he can land a really quick, easy shot and find a way off the line. Now in this scene, he's already starting to find the left hook as he already is starting to recognize that Nicholson has his weight on the front foot. And the way that you attack the front foot with most powerful punch is gonna be with the left hook. Now, unfortunately, Nicholson didn't realize that he was telegraphing the fact that he was going to be throwing this punch by getting his weight to the front foot um, because he didn't actually have any other punches to throw from that position. Now, here we go. As in the last sequence, he telegraphs the position, gets himself in that same exact position. And this time, Berlanga is ready. He's actually trying to catch that right hand with his right hand so he can set up a perfect left hook counter. Um, now, again... There were a lot of things that Nicholson was doing in this fight that were really good, and this right hand was exceptional, um, but he wasn't able to use it in a way that would stop him from occupying his body mechanics, as one of the flaws that he makes with this technique and the last time he throws it is when you get your weight to the front foot and you transfer all your weight on the front foot, it's supposed to be in your heel. But he puts himself in the air up here, and now he's on the ball of his foot. He has no weight on the ground, and now he, after throwing this punch, he can't roll, slip, or defend himself quick enough or get off the line out of this position before Berlanga can find him with the next punch uh, because his weight goes up and now his weight has to come down. As you can see, his heel is coming down before his head can change positions, okay? So he just puts himself out of position from being able to make a very similar uh, defensive motion here even just being able to block the punch by getting his weight down to the ground. But um, anyway, an excellent counter from Berlanga, an excellent read of those positions, and an excellent knockdown.